Hey, what's up, crew? I'm back at it. You know, it's the realist here. We're checking out week two drops. Supreme's been taking a little bit of time getting their shipments through. That's okay. I mean, everybody's ordering online right now, and there's also a lot of people calling out sick. I mean, I work for USPS, and I can tell you, we got people calling out sick every so often, and so, you know, we just gotta be safe. If somebody's a little bit ill, we're saying just don't even come into work. Just don't get everybody else sick, because right now, it's a little crazy in the world, and yeah. So, anyways, hopefully we'll get back to normal here soon we won't have to be wearing masks all the time but for now gotta mask up follow the rules and all that so i'm trying to do my best but anyways i'm wearing right now a spring summer 2012 hawaiian shirt the reason i'm wearing that is because the item i picked up is a button-up shirt this is my favorite button-up shirt from supreme that i have right now definitely great for a summer look and i just want to compare it to the shirt that has all the receipts on it looks like they gave us some stickers wow okay so they got their how to vote or get registered to vote and then another sticker with just the scan. Vote people for whatever, I mean. Yeah, everybody's in different places. Oh, another sticker. More register to vote tags. So I guess I better use those because they're not gonna be good here in a couple of weeks or months or whatever. I'm still kind of cross. Like, I guess I'll vote for Joe Rogan. I don't, I don't know. Probably shouldn't say that, but whatever. This is a size medium from 2012. This is also a size medium from 2020 fall winter collection on here we have a whole bunch of receipts just looks like they're from their store i was wondering what kind of text they were going to be putting on these receipts they're going to have some hidden words in there just kind of throwing you off or whatever but it looks like it's legit just receipts from their stores yeah i can see what those look like because literally i have to order everything online from supreme since i live in montana sticker label right there good times and i'm gonna go ahead take it out of this Ziploc bag. We got our Supreme box logo on the front of the Ziploc, the two punch holes on the bottom uh, left and right. And then, ooh, this shirt is actually really smooth. It's like super thin. I mean, this one, it feels kind of stiff, but whatever, this one, totally different feel to it. They do put a piece of tissue paper all wrapped up in there. All over this shirt, you just got receipts. It almost has a transparent look. It does look quite a bit bigger than the 2012 version. So their sizing has gotten a little bit oversized. They were doing stuff a lot smaller. Here's the tag on the back of the neck. Anybody who wants to see, there it is for you. You know, size medium. They have this tag as well, 100% rayon, because that's why it's a little bit thinner. And then some extra buttons there for you and some other languages for your information, some other text and whatnot. This did come straight from Supreme New York. That's where I get all of my Supreme, pretty much. This one I did grab from a resale market. I uh, use StockX or Goat, sometimes Grailed, but you gotta be really careful because Grailed is just full of scammers. Loaded, I mean, 90% of everything I buy on Grailed is scam. And it's because I'm trying to go for those good prices, like maybe a little bit below market or something like that. But yeah, if you're not paying a little bit above market or at market on Grailed, you're probably getting a fake item, so just be cautious of that. But anyways, this shirt, I mean, a lot of people weren't into it for some reason, but I thought it was so hype, so cool because of all these receipts all over it. For me, that's dope because I'm like always trying to buy, you know, you make your money work for you. You just always keep it going. I try to not have too much in the bank ever, which is a little bit rough because, you know, when you don't have any money in the bank, you feel like you're super broke all the time, but you know. <laughs> I can always sell some stuff if I really need the money. Like a few weeks ago, literally, I ran into this custom car and I had to pay him back for all these damages. And so I just sold a bunch of my stuff and uh, was able to get back to normal. But anyways, I'm going to throw this one on. Let's go ahead. Let's swap them out. All right. Yeah. So this shirt definitely fits quite a bit bigger than that other medium, which is cool because that other medium is a little bit too small for me, but it still kind of is good for summer vibes. I'm just rocking it with some just plain black bands. And uh, these are some element shorts, some sort of dressy shorts since I'm wearing a sort of dressy shirt, except for how dressy can you be, just covered in receipts. I'll see how it is buttoned up real quick. What do you guys think? Should I button up this top one? I don't know. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I mean, I kind of like to show off my globe that I painted on this tee. I am an artist. I do like creating. I mean, I'm trying to get myself out there by showing off other people's artwork because I'm really into these different items. I'll show you what, what I think is cool with the trends that are coming up. But then I'm also creating, creating all the time. I got ideas, but you know, I'm also working 60 hours a week, so I can't devote all my time to it. I am going to button this last one here. Why not? Give it a look-see. What do you think? I like it. The shirt just kind of gives me some chill vibes like, yeah, 
you know what? I got, uh, I'm really into receipts. It makes me think of one of my friends. They load their glove compartment in their car. They just load it with receipts. Just cram so many in there. When you open up that glove compartment, they just all fly out at your face. It feels like, I don't know, I'm not really that type of person. I like to throw them away. I don't like to hold on to them. But I mean, if I was going to the Supreme store all the time, I might keep them. But then again, I probably wouldn't because I've been going to McDonald's a lot and getting the Travis meal and I haven't kept any of those receipts. I've been just throwing them away. But I mean, I am at work and I, I mean, I guess I could put them in my bag. Pack. I mean, some people are selling them on eBay. I don't know why anybody would buy a receipt. Even uh, a couple days ago, I posted a picture on my YouTube channel here. Somebody putting a bid in for the Travis meal. $5 starting bid, $5 shipping. Why are you literally putting in a bid for a Travis? Like, are they just buying it for five bucks to see how it comes in the mail to see how the person sends it? Because they're probably just going to put it in a bag. It's going to be flying all around in there. They're not going to send the soda because, I mean, well, if they did, that would be insane. But that's not even part of the picture. It was just the fries and the burger. That is so weird. Anybody selling Travis meals? Like, ugh, where has this world come to? I know I did buy a bunch of Oreos. Well, actually, I got some Oreos for free, and then I did buy one pack, but those Supreme Oreos, I mean, they can pre-package. They're like a snack. People buy snacks in the mail, but not fast food. Come on. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of this receipt shirt. I don't have to be going after the crazy, insane, sells out really fast stuff. Yeah, that stuff is hard to get, first off. And second off, it's not always the stuff that I like. But then, like, Palace this morning, that shirt with the Triferg, well, still Sort of. It basically had their name in a triangle shape and then had the parrot on the side. That was cool, but I was so busy at work. I got in the drop a little bit late. And then by the time I had checked out and done everything, it was already sold out. Anyways, I am going to shoot some positivity at you before I end this video. Lewis Collins is one of my friends from here living in Montana. He just actually moved away, but he was here for a few years and he wrote this book while he was here. He's been a pastor in the past and I was actually a pastor as well. If you go back to when I first started these vlogs and I was getting into this idea of hype fashion and being able to resell clothes that you've worn so you're not just losing out all the money that you've spent on clothing. Back when I was first venturing into it and creating vlogs for all you guys, I was a children's pastor. And so he was actually a pastor of just a you know, church, like of the adults and everything like that. He put in here a quote that's really great for anybody who wants to be in ministry or have a ministry or think that they have to do something to minister to people. This quote was great. To view ministry through its proper lens is to view what you do every day as ministry. Oh man, and I've heard that so many times, but it's always good to regurgitate information for myself through books or through just podcasts or audiobooks. I love audiobooks, listen to them all the time. It's so good to get that information that you've heard before into your brain again so you can really concrete those things in your mind that can really benefit you and help you to grow as a person. So viewing ministry with every single action. That can be really difficult because there's a lot of times where I'm mean to people or I'm short with people or I'm just overall not super kind, but I'm slowly getting better and better. I feel like because I keep pushing the same information back into my brain that it helps promote positive vibes and positive interactions with people that I see in the world. Every single moment of every day, I'm thinking, how can I help another person? How can I uplift someone in this interaction? It doesn't mean I just give every single item away or anything like that, but I just give away positivity. And when you do that, people a lot of times will give you back positivity. And so that helps fill you up so that you can continue on the trend of motivating people, just creating those positive vibes because we need that. I mean, I get into depression. I get into times when I suppress my feelings and just push them down. And that is never healthy. It's never good. You've got to let those things out. And even though it makes you look kind of silly, maybe, I mean, it means you're real. We need people to be real right now because there's so much fakeness going on right now. I mean, seriously, the polarization of the news sources are just uh, flabbergasting. It's, it's, it's gotten way out of control. Really, the only way we can bring it back into control is by finding ways that we can unite each other. And I think the number one way is that we all want to see people do well. We all want to help each other out. I mean, when someone's far away on the internet, Internet, it's easy just to bash them or be mean but when you're in person and you're you're face to face I mean six feet right <laughs> but when you're close with people you're getting some of their energy and you can feel their their aura and and you just can't be as aggressive so anyways I was kind of all over the place with that but let's share positive vibes with everybody around us let's get this world moving in a place of love and equality for all people all nature looking for the best interest of everybody out there yeah also uh, loving art. I mean, come on. I love art. What? You're still here? You actually watched this long? Uh, thank you. That's awesome. Subscribe. Hit the like. I mean, <laughs>
Peace. No, really though. I mean, it's cool you're watching this long, but I, honestly, I mean, I mean, you watch the whole video? Literally, you do that? Why? Look at this.